Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP 15-TB0004 model. And in this video I'm gonna go take you over step by step how you can open it up and how you can replace your battery or remove your internal battery. Because these batteries they do get um, blown up a little bit, they get inflated after time. I will leave the new battery, the link for the new battery, compatible one on the video description in case you guys need it and the tools that I use it will be there too. Just remember once you remove the battery from here and you replace it, when you turn on it will tell you, give you a message, it will take about 5-10 seconds and then you get a text saying that the CMOS battery, the CMOS was reset to default, just press enter continue, you just reboot again and it will go. Because they don't have a BIOS battery, the BIOS takes the energy from the main battery so that's the only reason you don't have to do any configuration or anything like that all right with all this said let's get it started first thing first you want to power off the laptop and you want to flip it upside down then you want to grab yourself our opening tools and a screwdriver set i'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there these are made out of s2 class steel we're going to use a phillips number one if you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With this two on hand, we're going to get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, you're going to realize that there's a few screws in the middle, like a one, two, three, and one right in the front. There are a few other screw hidden screws, and we're going to expose them right now. You want to grab your opening tool, you want to remove the Stick it between the rubber cover at the rubber leg at the back, right underneath. Squeeze it nicely and lift it up. And there should be have an adhesive. You want to bring it up and in 45 degree. You don't want to go over, otherwise you're gonna crack the rubber. Bring it up like this, and you want to remove the rubber right there. Same thing on the bottom side. Put the opening, bring it up, put it to one side. Now we're gonna, we have exposed all the screws. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start from one corner and we're gonna remove all the screws and keep them in one pile. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Also, if you guys like my videos and you wanna support the channel, you can do that by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It will be a great motivation for me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. Now that we remove all the screws, next step is the fun part. We're going to open up the screen about in 35-45 degree angle or maybe a lot. You're going to stick the opening tool between the top and the bottom cover just like that. Stick it right in there. And then, I don't know if it's not focusing, maybe right now. And you want to pull it like this so you can hear those clicks. Those are the clips that are getting loose. Don't worry if you break one or two clips depending how old is the laptop. Those clips are just to hold it in place until you put the screws in. So you want to work yourself all around to the back corner, all the way to the back corner. Make sure you hit that click. And you want to do the front side, the sides. And again to the back corner. There we go. Now you want to close it down. You want to grab it from the front side, bring it up, wiggle it around, and it should release the rest of this uh, hooks. There's a hook in the middle too, so you just have to pull it up, holds it from the corner of the battery. Alright, once we remove this one, now you can see the battery right in front of you. And right away, I can see this battery is kind of inflated right here. One, two, three cells, and cell one is really inflated. Second cell is a little less and way less this one. So once they start inflating, that means they start going bad. So you need to replace them. To remove them, there's three screws that holds it. One, two, three. So we're gonna remove these three screws. Once we remove the screws, all you need to do is grab it, put your finger right in here and pull it up towards the ceiling gently. Don't bring too much, just a little bit until you see the disconnection right here. You just get disconnected, then you wanna stop and then you wanna pull it towards the fan. If you bring it up, you're going to break the uh, hooks right here. You want to slide it forward so you can release these bottom clips. And that's how you replace the battery. The model for this battery is an HT03XL. This one, it is rated at, 
Let me see if I can get the specification, find it. They don't make it easy to find it. Right there. It's an 11.55 volt DC. It's a 3470 milliamp hour battery. So I'll get the link for this one. I'll put it in the video description. This was for demonstration. I'm not actually replacing it. So you want to put the back side down, right, scoop it right in there, bring it evenly down, and squeeze this side towards the connector nicely, and place the three screws right on the battery. Remember, once you change your battery to a new battery, do not turn on the laptop right away. First connect it, let it charge when it, with power off for at least two or three hours before you power it on. So it completely gets charged, first charge, that's important for initial. Then you want to grab the bottom cover, you want to scoop down the I.O. side, the HDMI port, all this side, you want to scoop it down in 45 degree. Bring it over, make sure you push it and you hit those clicks, work yourself, press in the corner, on the sides, in the middle, right where the battery is, and you want to hit two clicks. And you want to open up a little bit, and if you see a little opening, just pinch them together, and it will just snap back in its place. And the last thing down here will be to just put the screws and cover it up with the rubber legs right over. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you did like it, please click that like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the screws. And to grab the rubber legs, bring it up, put it one side down, squeeze it right there, and that's it. Don't use a super glue to put this one in. You can buy a double-sided adhesive tape and put it right underneath if yours is not sticking. But that should be fine. All right, and that's it for this video.